Okay, I'm uh, doing a video for my granddaughter. And I thought I'll start off by showing her the family because she's worth like I am a worth and the family is all worths and uh, uh, Brandon told me today that she wants to see me and yes I will see her I see Brandon on a Sunday I'll pick him up and he can take me to show me where she lives and then I can pick pick her up so I'll show her a bit of the family history first because she needs to know that the Worth family is a very big family. I'll start off by showing my grandfather. Now this will be her great grandfather. His name is George Worth and yes he's a Worth again. And he's from Leicester, but he came to work in the mines in Tumble. And now my grandmother died when she was young, you see, just after having my father and he married again, you see. So I don't know uh, if this is my grandmother or the mother he married or the woman he married again. You see, the funny thing is about it, this is in the family, my father stopped talking to my grandfather and we never got to meet him. But now we all want to know everything about him. We've done a family tree now and we all know, want to know everything about him. So you see, this was going on years ago when families weren't talking, which is stupid. Like I got now my granddaughter's father not talking to me. You know, it, it is it's so stupid. Life is short, you know. There's so many problems in this world as you can do without not talking. Yeah, my father sadly stopped us, all nine of us, seeing my grandfather. And looking at him now, you can see he is like my father. So we don't know if this is my grandmother or if it's the woman he then married afterwards. Because that's why my father, my father left him when he was 10. He said he went to live with his auntie and uncle because he got married again. And, and she had two children. So anyway, if not for my grandfather, George Worth, my granddaughter, and Brandon and me and Matthew, my granddaughter's father, wouldn't be here today if not for George Worth. Think about that. He's the one who started it all. And we need to thank him. Thank him. Okay. And this now is the photo of my father. You see, yes, he's a handsome little man, isn't he? And, uh, but he never did like me. He was always hitting me when I was young. And this is me. Whoop. Oh my God, come on. Right, this is me when I was young. I'm about five years of age here. Uh, this is around the time that I suffered terrible asthma. And my mother walked into my bedroom and she saw that I wasn't breathing. In fact, I was dead. She saw me in bed not breathing i had died so she hung me out to the window and banged my back like anything and i started to breathe again and i was rushed to hospital and i was left for a week 
in an oxygen tank and I remember that. I was in bed for a week in an oxygen. Well, it was like a plastic cover oxygen and I wasn't allowed to get out of there. I had to poo in bed, I had to drink, I had to have food. I wasn't allowed to get out of that oxygen and nobody was allowed to visit me. I spent a week in bed, not able to see anybody, talk to anybody. Yes, I had a hard life when I was young, but it, it done me the world of good, you see. Plus then my father was always hitting me. Uh, my mother told me afterwards, she split up with my father and I was, you can't see it now, but I was blonde, blonde hair. And my mother said that my father didn't think he was my father. Because he didn't like me at all. He stayed, but I still spoke to him. When my mother left me, I still went to see him. I still spoke because I don't believe in not talking. So anyway, I was in and out of hospital most of the my young days, you know. Oh yeah, this is the time I saw, you see, my grandson today, Brandon, said that my granddaughter is, you know, getting these hallucinations, seeing things. Well, so did I. So did I. This is the time I saw a jackal god standing. Well, I, at the time I thought it was a man with a, I thought it was a man with a fox's head standing on the side of my bed looking down at me. I've learned it later that it was a jackal god. But I I suffered. I used to see a lot of things and, you know, I tell you, I suffered. I was the age of about five or six, by the way. But yeah, I don't know, five or six. And you could see by my jacket, I was very poor. I was brought up with nine children. Every birthday, I never had a card. Well, well we, we, we were poor. Never had a card, never had a birthday present on a birthday. Uh, Christmas time, I had a few little toys. You know, we were very poor. That That's why I like to spoil my children and grandchildren today. You know what I mean? I like to spoil them. That's why I spoil Brandon, I spoil Joseph, I spoil my kids. You know, because I, I missed out myself. Right, so, oh yes, here's my photo again as a baby. Here's me, I was a baby. I was always smiling. And this is my older sister, Sheila Worth, and my other sister, older sister, Pat Worth. Pat Worth now is with me on PlayStation now. She's a year older than me. I was always smiling, and even now I smile all the time. Smiley, they used to call me. Right, we'll go around the family now and show you. Oh yeah, this is a, we were nine children. And here's a photo of me and my four brothers. There's me, Wellingtons. I always had Wellingtons. Well, these these were my father's Wellingtons. I I always had Wellingtons on. We were poor, you see, and this is a jacket I had for my cousin in New York in America. Oh yes, my if my granddaughter's watching this, we got family in New York, you know. And there's my brother Collingworth. He's a biker, into bikes. And there's my brother Spencerworth, and my brother Barryworth, and my brother Kevinworth. We were five boys, all worths. And we go on now to a photo of me with Bowworths. Now, there's me, I had long hair when I first got married. There's me holding my eldest daughter, Melanie Worth. And this is Matthew Worth in the buggy. Yes, I don't know if my granddaughter knows, but there's another Worth, and his name is Matthew Worth. And there's his Amanda Worth, and here is Jason, Jason the cat. Show you all, show my granddaughter now. Right, where do I go from here now? Uh, again, this is my late father. This time with my brother Colin, Kevin, me in the back with the tush, and Spencer. Now you see, once I got older, my father was good to me then. My mother left him. 
He was on his own, lonely. We all felt sorry for him and went to see him. Sadly, he died. He died. Died on his own. Uh, oh yes, this is a photo of me holding Matthew Worth up on the day of my wedding. Now you see, we were celebrating day of the wedding, and Matthew started to cry. So. I volunteered to pick him up and you can see the bottle there. I was giving him a bottle to keep him quiet because we were all drinking and you can see his sisters up there, Emma and I got that. We were all drinking and I went to pick him up because I didn't like to see any of my children cry. Like I say, I like to spoil them. You see, I never hit them. I didn't believe in hit them because I was always hit. And this is my three sisters. Catherine Worth. Although Veronica's Richard now and Pat is Griffiths. Sadly, my elder sister died. But we were nine children. And this is Tracy Worth. My youngest daughter, and this is Joseph Worth. Oh, damn it, I forgot to put the photo. I got a nice photo of Matthew and Tracy together. I forgot to put it on here. This is a photo of Matthew playing games when he comes here. He loves to get on my PlayStation 4. And I got a big TV there, look. And of course, my granddaughter will be able to do the same when I see her. And this is a photo of Carrie Swift. She plays rugby. She's Spencer's daughter. She's a Worth. Sadly, she lost her mother when she was very young. And this is her sister, Ella Worth. Ella Worth. Caris is older than Ella. And again, a Worth, you see. We are a very big family. And this is a photo of me when I split up with my first wife. There's Stuart Worth. Like, well, it was Melanie Worth, she's Blake now, but Tracy is still a Worth. Stuart is still a Worth. And this is a photo of me playing rugby. Because I love playing rugby. There's me there and Colin Worth there. We were five brothers playing rugby together. And this is a photo of me when I was fishing. And of course, this is me when I came out. On the papers of Mystic Meg of Pontiacs. I used to do tarot cards, you see. And I was pretty good at it, you know. I still got them. I still got the cards. I don't do it now. And this is a photo. I was out on the star. But once this photo was out, my phone was on fire. I, I just had to stop in the end. There's too many who wanted. I, and I never charged anybody for in the cards I used to do it uh, for the for the love of doing it you know which is supposed to you're not supposed to be charging you see oh yeah this is me when I was married to the first wife with Stuart on my lap and there's my eldest daughter Melanie sadly they don't talk to me now as well and I haven't fallen out to them they've just gone and decided not to talk to me you know they're so childish but they were it goes on and this is a photo of me on the beach with Stuart in the car. And this is a photo of me in my first car. Look, look at the Velox. I came back from town to 14 in this car. I used to go everywhere in this car. Always at 10, 12, 14. I had an absolutely fantastic time in this car. And this is a photo of my eldest. Melanie and Stuart. But the photo of um, Tracy 
and Matthew together laughing and having oh it's a pity I forgot to load that up here so there we are my granddaughter yes I'll see you and I'll spoil you like I spoil everybody because I spent my life being hit all the time never having any money or nothing and uh, I like to make sure that my children and grandchildren get a better life than I did and this is a photo of Joseph was swimming he was a good swimmer he swam for Armford he won, he won a competition yeah I took a photo of him <clears throat> I, used to, I used to swim see I, I love swimming I used to take Joseph swimming to me and, and sadly I can't do that with, with Brandon now because my, my heart now is, has gone too weak for me to go to the pool of anywhere. I could just about to manage to pick Brandon up and take him. But like I say, you see, I spoil Brandon now. He gets his pocket money, he gets £100 for birthday. And of course, my granddaughter, uh, if she's watching, she'll have the same. You know, I don't try and buy love, you see. My my my, my youngest boy, Matthew, Matthew, my grandfather, daughter's father said I try and buy love I don't buy love I'm giving to my children and grandchildren what I didn't get when I was young I want them to have a better life you see I landed up working underground on the coal face I had no money I had to work hard for money working all the time and in the dust and dark you know and giving my pay over to my first and second wife I never hit my children I wanted them to have a better life than me. It's not the fact that I buy love. I want them to show them that I do love them in my way because I don't want them to be poor like I was. I don't believe in hitting them. I believe in them having everything because I was, you know, I never had a present on my birthday. I never had a birthday card. I think I was married to my first wife. I think I was 23 when I first had a birthday card for my first wife. I never had a birthday card or present before then. To me, birthdays were, and even when I was married to my first wife, second wife used to work and ground on the cold face on the day of my birthday. You know, I, I, I've had such a poor, hard life being hit all the time that I want my children and grandchildren to have a lot better life and the only way I can ensure that they get a better life than me is to give them money to give them money so that they can stand I've already told Brandon today he's pretty good at driving he's tell he was telling me today what I was coming down to Valley Vol today I'd never been down that road and I wasn't sure how to go and Brandon was telling me where to go he knew the lanes he's going to be a good driver and I told him when he's 17 I'll buy him a car you know, when I I was 20 before I was able to afford a car. I wasn't able to afford a car when I was 17. I, I didn't have the money. My parents, my grandparents never gave me money. They couldn't afford it. My parents never gave me money. They couldn't afford it. I had to earn. I had to work hard for every penny I had. And that's why I like to spoil my grandchildren. I, I told Brandon today, when he's 17, I'll buy him a car. He's going to be a good driver. And it's not that I buy in love, it's what I want them to have. I want them to have what I didn't have. Okay.